what, what the lady's is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A Texas bar owner has been charged with sexual assault after filming himself attacking a woman by laying her across the bar after she had passed out drunk and having sex with her. Israel Espirigueta, 41 years old, is accused of starting his attack in the library, his bar in Fort Worth, after allowing the woman to come in for a drink after hours on December 23rd, 2017. According to charging documents, after letting her in and giving her alcohol, a speedy Guetha positioned the woman across the bar to have sex with her. He then took her in his car to a hotel where she said he raped her while she was unconscious and forced her to perform oral sex on him. When the woman woke up later that morning, she said there was blood all over the sheets and a speedy Guetha joked that he looked like he had murdered her. The woman went to the police the following day. Expedi Guetha was arrested in February and was released from custody after posting bail soon afterwards. Details of his alleged crime emerged on Tuesday in police documents obtained by the Daily Mail. Those documents show how the woman arrived at 2 a.m. at the bar and was let in because she was friends with several of the employees. But check this out. The employees participated with the bar owner in filming the girl. They basically, well, they watched. And it was said that some of the employees were touching her and laughing and going on also. And they left her drunk, passed out at the bar with the bar owner. These are her friends. They left her. No doubt he roofied her. The guy is 41 years old. Looks like a decent guy. Looked like he could probably get a nice girl if he had just a little conversation and probably patience. But some of these guys, they have a sense of entitlement. And they see women as not human beings, but objects, objects to uh, control, objects to conquer, do whatever they want to do with. And they think it's funny. A lot of them think it's funny. They feel like if you allow yourself to get roofied, then you deserve whatever comes to you. If you allow yourself to trust so-called people that you barely know around your drink. You deserve to get roofied. If you don't follow that bartender's every move when he's making your drink, you deserve to get roofied. That's how a lot of these dudes think. This dude is 41 years old. You know he's been doing it for a long time. He's probably been roofing girls ever since he was in middle school at the least high, on a high school level. And you know what he did in college. And to have that smirk on his face, to be accused of something as low down and dirty as sexual assault, says a whole lot about him. He's not taking the charges seriously at all. But then again, who does really take sexual assault seriously in America. America has a horrible record on defending victims of sexual assault. A horrible record on addressing sexual assault. Not enough men talk to their boys. Not enough mothers talk to their boys. Have those honest conversations with their boys about not sexually assaulting women, not forcing themselves on women. I've had this conversation several times with my son. It's important 
that we not just talk to girls about protecting themselves, but we talk to our boys. If we could stop the boys, we wouldn't even have these problems. We wouldn't even have to talk to the girls at all. We got to talk to these boys. We got to get to our boys. And it's going to take the men. Because a lot of times the boys may not even listen to women. Because they'll, be, they'll feel like a woman has an ulterior motive. Well, mama, you don't know. I mean, this is different. You know, you're saying that because you're a woman. But if a man says it, a man who they respect says it, it has a very much different effect. So, man, we got to get on our job. You got to get on your job. And it can't be a double standard. You can't let your boys just loose. You can't turn them loose and let them go wild and then, hey, man, so you wild oaks, do whatever you want to do, man. Get them, get them, get them, you know. And then, on the other hand, tell your girls how the boys ain't nothing and all the boys want is this. You know what I'm saying? The double standard, it don't work. It makes it harder to do your job. See, it would be a whole lot easier if you're working from both angles, if you're talking to both sides. You did? We got to get to that. We really got to talk to these boys. But dude obviously didn't get it a long time ago. He did not get it. He still thinks it's funny. What kind of a sicko chooses to have sex with a comatose person? I'm not going to even call him an animal because even an animal wouldn't have sex with a corpse. And what about those friends of hers? What type of friends would leave a defenseless, drunken, unconscious woman in any space with a predator? With friends like those, you don't need enemies. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?